What's up everybody, Jonesy here again with another entry in the Hyperspace Database. The show where we take the great ships of Star Wars from the movies and the expanded universe and give you some history and trivia behind them. Today's episode, the TIE Phantom. The TIE Phantom was a prototype starfighter developed during the reign of the Empire and utilized a Stygium-powered cloaking device, which was very rare at that time. The TIE Phantom was manufactured by Sinar Fleet Systems, like all the other TIE Fighters but was developed in secret on Imdar Alpha after the Battle of Yavin to crush the Rebel Alliance through stealth attacks. The design for the TIE Phantom was based off of many of the other TIE Fighter designs, from the solar wing panels of the TIE Interceptor to the triple wing design of the TIE Defender and the cockpit design that was similar to the Scimitar Assault Bomber. The Phantom Project was led by Grand Admiral Martio Batch, who was ordered by the Emperor to create a foolproof stealth system for the Imperial Fleet, or Dry Trying. The result was the Stygium Crystal-powered TIE Phantom, which completed testing around the time of the Battle of Hoth. The TIE Phantom was capable of being cloaked right up until the moment of firing, when the massive power needs of the ship disabled the cloak in order to shoot. The cloak was instantly re-engaged after firing, though, allowing the ship to remain invisible while in motion. In events detailed in the video game The Hidden Empire, the TIE Phantom was tested near the Dryden Triangle, which was a ghost sector known for mysterious ship disappearances. After the Rebel Alliance lost an X-Wing patrol group to the Phantom ships, the Alliance sent Agent Rue Marlene to investigate the situation. A Rebel YT-1300 freighter called the Corellia Star acquired information on the TIE Phantoms, though the ship was soon captured and the crew killed. However, the ship made a distress call that was heard by two Rebel B-Wings on patrol nearby, Kirby and Rookie One, who then went to investigate. Unfortunately, as with the other patrol, the fighters came under attack by the TIE Phantoms, and Kirby's B-Wing was destroyed, while Rookie One was forced to crash land on the nearby planet. Rookie One then located an Imperial garrison and managed to steal the captured Corellia Star, which he returned to the Rebel Alliance. After the Alliance decoded information regarding the Phantoms from the Corellia Star's flight recorder, Admiral Akbar sent Rookie One and Rue Marlene to capture a Phantom and return it for study. The agents managed to steal a TIE Phantom from the Super Star Destroyer Terror, Though before they left, they discovered that the ship was deploying to attack the Rebellion with thousands of the Phantoms stored in its hangars. In order to prevent the destruction of the Rebellion by these deadly craft, Rookie One and Rue Marlene piloted their stolen Phantom into the superstructure of the Terror and destroyed the ship's tractor beam focusers, which caused the ship's reactor to go critical. The Rebels escaped the crumbling Super Star Destroyer before it was destroyed, and then infiltrated the cloaked base on Imdar Alpha to destroy the factory before it could produce any more TIE Phantoms. After the destruction of the facility, the Rebels flew their captured fighter back to the Rebellion, where the Rebel engineers could analyze the ship and adapt the cloaking technology for their own ships. However, the Emperor was known for his foresight, and each TIE Phantom was built with a self-destruct device in case it was captured. As the ship sat on the landing platform after capture while the agents were debriefing, it set off its self-destruct mechanism and exploded, leaving a useless hunk of metal in its wake. Even though the Empire would label the stealth project a failure, and Grand Admiral Batch would later be assassinated because of this failure, the technology behind it would later be used by Grand Admiral Thrawn in his campaigns against the New Republic, as told in the Legends Thrawn trilogy by Timothy Zahn. The TIE Phantom was a fearsome fighter that had incredible potential, and despite its short lifespan, it proved to be a capable fighter that caused great destruction in the hands of the Empire's elite pilots. Well, fans, that about wraps up this episode. Be sure to stick around to the end for some secret trivia. What'd you think? Let me know in the comments what you thought and tell me what other ships you'd like to see or maybe some of your favorites. I'd love to talk to you. Be sure to check out our other videos as well and hit those like and subscribe buttons and the little bell to be notified every time we publish a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time.